Before removing any dryer panels, disconnect the dryer from electrical supply. To remove the top panel, remove the three screws across the back of the rear panel, lifting up the panel slightly and sliding it to the rear to lift it off the dryer. To remove the electronic control, remove the three screws securing the control panel and flip the panel over. Release the wiring harness connectors and disconnect the ribbon cables from the user interface. Remove the quarter inch screw securing the control board to the panel and then from the back side release the tab securing the control board to the panel separating the panel. To remove the console, remove the screw in the top corner of each side of the console. Open the dryer door and pull out at the bottom of the console and lift straight up. To remove the user interface, lay the console face down on a protective surface and remove the metal bracket. Remove the control knob. And with a flat blade screwdriver, release the tabs securing the user interface to the console. Separate the user interface from the console. To remove the lower access panel, remove the two screws at the bottom of the panel and pull it down. The text sheet is located on the back side of this panel. To remove the front panel, begin by removing the dryer duct separating the moisture sensor wiring harness connector and removing the screws at the four corners of the front panel. To remove the dryer belt, push the idler pulley to the left while releasing the belt from the motor pulley. Then lift the drum and belt out of the dryer cabinet. To remove the blower wheel, locate the flat spot on the motor shaft and secure it with a wrench. Insert a half inch drive socket in the blower wheel and turn the wheel clockwise to release. This is a left handed thread. To remove the drive motor, disconnect the wiring harness connector from the drive motor. To press the motor clamps to release them from the motor base, then lift the motor and disconnect the wires from the belt switch. The belt switch is located on the back side of the motor bracket. The switch is activated by the idler pulley and opens if the belt should break. When reinstalling the motor, align the molded tab with the slot in the motor bracket.
To remove the heating element, begin by disconnecting the electrical connectors to the heating element, thermal cutout, and high limit. Remove the screw securing the heating element to the dryer base. And remove the element housing. Remove the screw securing the element to the housing. and remove the element. To remove the drum support, use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the plastic retaining ring from the drum support shaft and slip the roller off the shaft. This concludes this teardown video of the Maytag Epic Dryer.